Hello there, viewers, and welcome to Ship Graveyard Simulator 2! And I wish they had bartering, because this seems to be a bit uh, lackluster trying to actually sell any of the actual materials. It seems better off to do contracts. And I would like to actually get some things upgraded at least, so hey, I'm actually back here. Friend. So, level 4 hammer is going to cost me 40 bucks. Saw, torch, 40 bucks. Goodness me. Rope, upgrade, I do need. Thank you very much. So, let's go for that. So I have now paid for everything to be at least level three. So expensive to carry on and get everything to the level four that I would like. Uh, okay, what are you flashing for? A furnace saying one and six on spanners. Shuprabhat, my friend. I have no clue what that is all about. So the rope is alright. There we go. That is done. I didn't get the torch, so I still can't get the torch goodness me i need more liquids explosives i have not actually used explosives explosives can blow up walls floors even the electrified ones explosives are single use only so use them wisely no freaking I really want to end that, but I'm now not. Right. 15 bucks. Let's get one. There we go. That's it. So the furnace has actually gone. So does that mean it's counting down how much I've got, as in blueprints? Go sell some resources. Uh it's kind of not worth it really i may sure just do contracts and it's getting dark and i need to start on this blooming ship so is oh sweet caroline let's go <laughs> ahead and not do that i would like to actually do it that man style and oh, oh, oh. Nope. Okay then. Let's aim for something a bit... Oh, goodness me. Oh, I'll pick up that light. Right, I would like to go... Not there. Come on. There. Above. Seriously, I want to go above that. But you know what? Can I go anywhere around here? No, I can't. Really? You've been a rat evil. Right, fine. Let's go up this way then. And up I go. Torch on. Up to the top. And I would like to actually see what's going on here. Right. I have got a container there. I might deal with that first. Okay. We have got... Oh my goodness me. Brain lap. What is going on here? What is this place called? The bridge. That's it. The bridge. Goodness me. Right. Let's pick you up. And... How do I use my bomb? It's seven. There we go. So I need to place it somewhere. And then detonate. All right. 
fair dues. And I don't know. Oh, goodness me. This is actually kind of a big area. What I'm going to do is pop you here on the floor. There we go. I'm going to come away, pick everything up. There we go. Oh, uh, I didn't notice that there was actually a... Uh... Oh, goodness me. There's a container here. And I've just placed a bomb. <laughs> no! I need to get to the container. Oh, no. If I thought the container... <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be whoopsie. Oh, goodness me. Can I get to... Oh, no. Right. Let's deactivate you so I can actually do stuff. Goodness me. Right. I need to get to you. And... I can't. Oh, goodness me. Ooh. Don't do this to me. Right. There we go. It's done. It's done. Good. All done there. Blimey. This is just insane. Right. Get rid of you. Why am I getting rid of you? I've just... Oh, never mind. Right. So... Pull down. There you go. Right. So that means I have to do this bit by bit. Can't carry any more. Oh, goodness me. Right. You go there. <laughs> I need you to just be out of the way at the moment. So I need to get to you. I'll get to you. It's me, game. Right, let's cut you. And then, hopefully, this means the bars will actually fall down. Go. Right, can I get up? No, I can't. Can I get up there? Yes, I can. Brilliant, that is good. At least I'm actually above it now again. So let's go ahead and get this all sorted out so I can actually get to this crate. Don't know how much I have to actually destroy to actually get to it. Hopefully not a lot, mind you. So not you. There we go. That goes to the panels. That's awesome. That's gone and all. That is as well. Good. Right, let's jump over. No, can't push you, so let's go ahead and see if I can pick you up and then grind these two away. Then let's focus on getting this crate out of here. Right. Do I have to do the other one? Yes, I do. Right. Fair enough. I'm just actually testing out the actual support here, doing it this way. Which is awesome. I still want to know what that six is. Does that mean that I've got six upgrades to do? Right, so this should be all right. So let's go ahead, get you out of here. Go pick up all the bars. There we go. And the flooring. No, start keep. Looking at that weight, blimey. Alright. I put, yep. And of course, I can't do anything because of you. Oh, seriously. And 
and it does fall with me on it as well so that's actually good to know let's chuck you over there so i've got three boxes now crane can you get here there we go and up we go yep it's still coming that is good to know because i would like actually explode this area i'm doing it here because it's a death okay then so let's go ahead set off the charge oh my goodness me you got to be kidding me what was that seriously what was that that was absolutely horrendous that was pathetic a mouse can trump harder than that one small panel you've got hitting me <laughs> oh man i feel like i've been robbed i really do I'm actually doing this video differently, as you can actually tell, because of course you don't want to see me testing out gravity on every single ship. So I'm actually doing stuff a bit differently. And um, why can't I? It's strange. I can't pick up some items until I've picked up different things, and it's annoying. Just. Pick it up already. <laughs> That's it. So I need to know what is actually in my truck. Scan. Scan the truck. Because I would like to know if <laughs> I've got any liquids in there. And now I've actually <laughs> chucked in these bowls here. I don't know if they count as liquids. Or non melts Or does the actual <laughs> oil barrel count as liquids? Because I would like to know, because I would like to upgrade my torch at least. Go. That all sorted out. So basically, all I'm doing now is searching the place to find old collectibles well they're not collectibles as in hey i've collected them all but the actual resources are actually around go you up you up there we go <laughs> um, test it. and then i can actually get on with dismantling the ship but of course, normally I would just destroy the connections on the bottom and go from there. You know what? I would like to actually do this differently. So I'm going to carry on looking around and picking up everything that I can actually pick up. Right, because I'm actually doing this section by section, I am actually going to see if I can destroy this bit here. There we go. Push it open. Thank you. And then to grind this a bit away. And hopefully this will actually cause an opening. So I can actually throw stuff actually into the truck. So I'm just clearing the way really to be honest here. I can actually have a beam shot at the truck, which is awesome. And there is quite a few things here that actually need to be craned away. 
so I have to actually plan that as well. There we go. So let's there we go. Sorted. And that is the clearing that I needed. Um, so why are you still up there? Okay then, that is weird. But we've got this engine here. And then at the back we have got the container. And then we've got these two smaller engines here. So with that clearing now, I can actually just go into this room and then go to the truck and chuck. <laughs> so what I'm going to actually do here is create my own walkway. There we go. And get rid of you. There we go. And brilliant. And of course. Go like that. Get rid of you. And then grind. I know it's a saw. And yes, I do normally say grind away. But of course, I'm sawing away. So, uh, let me off with that one, would you? <laughs> so, there's going to be a lot of planning for this one. Because, of course, I'm doing walkways myself. This might be a two-parter video, mind you. There we go. Just getting started, really. There we go. So that is now clear. I can actually easily come over here now. Pick you up. And of course, there is a lot to actually pick up. I might actually deliver their actual truck and sort stuff out to see if we can actually get some more liquids there go. I wish it actually would tell you what is actually in the truck instead of just giving you a weight it'll be nice so this should be Free after I've cut these two pieces off. Right. With that sorted out, let's go ahead. Call in the crane. And get that lifted. I'm actually on the third floor, to believe. Cleared a bit out. Made a hole here so I can actually chuck stuff away. Now I need to actually gain entry into this area here. Of course, it is a locked door. So I have to actually saw as well as hammer to actually gain entry. I actually hope <laughs> I really do hope I can actually get into the bear upgrades soon. Now, that is a lot of stuff. Nearly completed one contract already. There we go. Let's hammer you. There we go. Can't see any connections there. Here we go. Um there we go. And it's to the electric room. Okay, so I got here sooner <laughs> rather than later. Alright, fair enough. Fair news. That's okay. Thanks to the trusty rope. <laughs> That is, mind you. 
So if you're on foot, this is the way that you will actually go. So here we go, more clearing to do. Which is fantastic. And more doors to get through. There we go. Oh, goodness me. How many levels is there? Oh, here we go. Chimney stack. Actually, I don't know if that is actually called chimney stack. I'm actually at the top, which is awesome. Can actually see mostly everything now. There we go. Chuck you <laughs> down there. And what have we actually got here? I'm actually noticing this big thing here. A ton of connections. Do I really need to cut all that? Can I cut you away? So you're not actually connected to ship anymore. And then cut less parts basically to actually get this to come apart so yes for this instance i'm going to see if gravity can be my friend and help me out here so let's get rid of these connections here just on the top bit there we go just this section here and let's leave this all connected there let's jump down here we go i need to actually pick up these anyway there we go go to the box put you in hammer and that is that bit so there we go there so this bit and possibly that bit. There we go. And that bit there. 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 There we go. Pick you up. And you there. There. And let's say there. There we go. And then the saw to saw you away. This might be the lookout area. Because the ladders are leading up quite high. There you go, switch to the hammer. And we can't do any. Okay, that's weird. Why aren't you allowing me to push? Do I have to cut you as well? And then all of you will fall down? I don't know. I'm just zooming here. That is glowing now. So let's get rid of this connection there. And that connection there. And you as well. You and all. There we go. And... Yes, you and all. Good. So... Push. Yep, there you go. Didn't have to do actually much work there, which is actually fantastic. That's what I actually like to do. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> It just saves time, really, because the saw, I like using it, but it just takes ever. I don't think I'm actually noticing a change. So, what about if I do that? There we go. That bit goes down. I don't have to saw that light, neither. Which is great. It just means I just have to clear up this flooring. That's it. And this bit here. Which is better than just spending a few minutes on 
20 soul connection points, which means to be destroyed before I can actually move anything. That is the only tool I would actually say is the tool that I don't actually like using is the saw. Because I'm level 3 and I don't think there is a noticeable difference in the time that it actually takes to actually saw something. <laughs> the crates, you can definitely see an upgrade as well as noticing a difference in what they actually do. <laughs> Same with the gloves that I'm wearing. The hammer looks different and of course it takes around about two hits to actually destroy connection rather than I think it was like six. The saw does look different but that's it. <laughs> It just looks different. I can't tell anything when it comes to the porch because, well, I can't afford or do look great for the torch. There we go. That's all sorted. Um, didn't want to actually go down to ground level. Mind you, I can actually have a quick gander and plan for the next steps. What I can actually do is destroy all the connections up here. And it looks like, yeah, it does. The actual rampart comes up. So I can destroy all this here, collect it take it to the front and get rid of it and then I can destroy the floor here to get to two engine parts there and there is another train lift there is where is it Trying to remember whereabouts it is, but there is another one. Just a small crate. That leads up to the top bit. Wonder where it is. Not there. Oh, I'm lost. There is one. That's the... Nope, not in there. Where is it? Ah, here it is. Right here. So, we've got to actually get to this one as well. So, before I do them two... Oh, my goodness me. Seriously? Oh, I walked straight past it. But before I actually do the two engines there, I have to do this one here. And then that is it. So I need to get to this bit easier, Lee, which means I need to destroy this area. And you know what? I've actually had fun with this. A bit different video. A bit different of a video for me to actually just go around looking for stuff and then plan out routes and of course start destroying the upper layers instead of the lower layers but you know what i enjoyed it i like it <laughs> so i reckon this will be a two-parter it won't always be a two-parter for each ship <laughs> mostly there's going to be just one video each ship and then yeah that's it really but this one i just thought of doing it a different way really to be honest so you know what this is of course the end of the episode thank you very much for watching hopefully you enjoyed the episode and you'll see me in
the next one. Bye.